hopefully you guys can see me. I'm going to go to Rosana's house tonight. Uh, Rosana is the follower who brought down the GoPro for me and all the little accessories. Which was really nice. Her and her husband brought it down for me. I can't give her all the credit because <laughs> her husband Ricky might be like, what? <laughs> he discovered me according to Rosana. So that's how they found out about me. But anyway, um, so I'm going to Rosana's mother's house this evening. Rosana's, Rosana's mother lives in Santa Anita, which is near La Molina, a district that's like on the other side of Lima <laughs> compared to where I live. And um, anyway, we're going to go because they're having like a birthday party for her dad and a welcoming party for her. And I am only going to stay for a couple of hours because I'm really tired. Uh, two nights ago, I stayed up till four in the morning doing some homework for a business coaching class that I'm taking. And then um, I had to get up like two hours later to attend the call for the class. And then I went back to sleep. And then I spent the whole day yesterday working on a presentation for um, a talk that I gave today at a, what is it called in English? Um, I don't know, Ecoferia. It's a fair or something, healthy food fair, I don't know. Anyway, I gave a talk on sugar and it went really well, better than last time. I think because I felt a lot more relaxed about doing public speaking in Spanish, which is something that I am a bit, um, uh, what's the word? <laughs> I can't think anymore. I'm so tired. I'm so tired, people. Um, I'm in, a little insecure, there, that's the word, uh, about speaking publicly in Spanish. But I did well, even. There was a doctor there, a vegan doctor, who was helping me with my slides for my presentation. And he complimented me and said that I did well. He really liked my talk. So I'm really happy about that. Anyway, I'm going to take a bus to Rosana's family's house.
What up travelers? I really hope that you have enjoyed my vlog on my experience on meeting Rosana and Ricky and their family. I had such an amazing time getting to know them. It's crazy, but all of the people that I meet from my channel, um, I've met two women since then that follow me on this channel and it's crazy just how much in common I have with these people in one way or another. You know, our lives have not been exactly the same, but there are certain similarities and certain things. Uh, it's just baffling to me and I really sincerely feel like nothing happens, you know, just out of coincidence. Everything is for a reason, for, you know, for some reason. And so it's it was crazy how much we had in common I think with like me and Rosanna's family like her her family with her husband and her kids um, and I just really enjoyed meeting them they were so amazing and bringing me my GoPro as you guys know um, and then they also brought me down some really amazing essential oils which I have been dying to try for forever because I'm into holistic things and so I've been wanting to try these doTERRA essential oils because they're the best on the market in the market and um, yeah they've been they've been really interesting the last uh, couple of weeks that I've been trying them out so I'm thinking about selling those in the future but for now I'm just testing them on myself as a guinea pig and so yeah it's just been an amazing experience they were so nice made sure I had some kind of vegan options at the party and I was originally planning on staying just a couple of hours but as you could see I stayed the night because it got too late by the time I noticed what time it was it was just too late to take a bus back home or whatever and I didn't feel like taking a taxi because it's kind of far away and so yeah they made a bed for me and I spent the night and I chatted with them some more the next day and then I had to go home but yeah they were really nice amazing people and I will always remember them um, I feel like all of the followers I do meet most of them I think become like my friends you know that I keep in touch with from time to time um, and it's just really amazing it's really amazing and exciting to be meeting people you know that you would have never otherwise have met and to you know form friendships with them and so I'm really excited because ever since I met Anthony my first uh, sub that I met I've been meeting so many people and it's just really exciting for me so um, I'm gonna meet someone else next week I think so anyway um, I am going to start posting videos every Saturday for maybe the next couple of months on Peruvian slang and expressions or just any other words in Spanish that you may hear here in Peru so I'm gonna be doing that um, for Saturdays I think starting this Saturday I'm gonna try to get on that because I have like nearly 20 videos I have to edit and upload between my three channels and so I'm busy working on that and um, yeah that's it so if you have enjoyed watching this video seeing how Peruvians get down we definitely love to party and drink and by the way those um, bottles that you saw in those crate thingies those, those bottles are actually about twice the size of a normal bottle in the US so it's like actually 24 <laughs> in each crate when it's 12 bottles it's actually like 24 or something so we know how to get down so definitely like this video if you have enjoyed watching um, just an authentic Peruvian party, seeing all the food, the music, the dancing, the drinking. Um, and uh, leave me any comments in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel to see more of my vlogs on things related to Peru such as travel advice, um, cultural things. Follow me on social media if you'd like. And thank you so much for your time once again. I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.